What's up guys? Thank you for joining today's video again. The second match. And the last match we just saw was um, CM Punk versus Shawn Michaels at the Royal Rumble. So I'm gonna have another match that's gonna happen at the Royal Rumble too, like a like a dream match, you know. But let me see, who could I pick? Um we can do the rock. No, not the rock. Um let's do I guess so. Let's do Sheamus versus. Oh boy. Um. Holy crap! I can't pick anybody. Oh, uh, so Sheamus versus Brock Lesnar. I'll do Brock Lesnar. Here we go, on to the match. And I'm also sorry that there's no sound. I don't know how to get sound, really, but when I figure that out, uh, I'll let you guys know how I did it. As, as of now, I don't know how to get my sound. So, uh, be a way I just don't know how but if anyone knows how to do it just let me know in a message or in the comment below after the vi after this video is done and uploaded just uh, let me know how, how you guys have sound and use the easy cap DC 60 because that's what I'm using right now is the easy cap DC 60 to record my gameplay SummerSlam 2013 attire when we face CM Punk at uh, SummerSlam, it was a pretty good match, but uh, it was a crazy match. I don't know why CM Punk came out against Brock Lesnar, but anyway. And let's go on with the match. Ding, ding, ding. And uh, the concepts of it, and what do you guys think about it? Well, this is my opinion and view about it. I think it's going to look pretty good um, since they're going to 2K now. 2K has made a lot of pretty good games like NBA and Bioshock and all those games, or something like that anyway. But um, this is going to be a pretty good game when it comes out. So. The Ultimate Warrior as a as a DLC character, but I don't think um, you have to pre-order to get him. So maybe I'm I pre-order mine, but I'm still gonna get Ultimate Warrior. But but the fact is that uh, that you don't have to. I don't think you have to have um, him to get him. So like other things that's in the match, you can do it WrestleMania five or six against Conan versus Warrior for the Intercontinental Championship and the WWE Championship. So I don't know, depends how that goes. You could do that too. Um, but you, it's supposed to do that. I don't think you have to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. But for the people who are gonna get to get the Undertaker edition, don't waste your time with that. I know some people are looking forward to get that one. I'm not because it's like just about a hundred bucks, but if it was NBA, NBA would have been pretty cool, but I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd want to get that one, but anyway, um, I'll just get the regular one with the rock on the cover of mine, so, whoa, um, so if you guys are looking forward to 2K14, which I am too, can't wait to play when it comes out on my hands on October 29th, 2013. So when you get to play it, if 
get some some access, but you may as well heal before Walker. I was surprised they put old new old new back in the game because Goldberg hasn't been in wrestling in a long time, and I don't know if they put him back because he was just taking some hits, or he just took him in the WWE because of the drama and uh, everything else with WWE nowadays. But um, I don't, th I wouldn't want to be in WWE either and all the drama. But the fact is, is that Goldberg needs to come back and actually just do one more match against somebody. I mean, come on. I would. I face Brock Lesnar again at WrestleMania 30. Had to, you know. They're saying that it could be Brock versus Brock again at WrestleMania 30 for the WWE title, but I don't know how Brock Lesnar and The Rock and somebody could win the WWE Championship before WrestleMania 30. K14 looks pretty good. I mean, after you can go on the website, you can see they have some question marks for the roster still. Um, from what I've noticed, um, that's all I see. I don't notice anything else, but that's all I can see from the roster. There's no still question marks. So maybe that's DLC people. So maybe like some NXT people, maybe like NXT divas, like Paige and uh, maybe like Emma, maybe if possible, or some somebody. I don't know, but. NXT superstars, maybe like Chris Hero, I don't know if he's still in there from T NXT, I don't really follow NXT that often, but all I know is they have a pretty cool stage though, it's like a, it's has a ring and looks pretty nice, so I, I kind of like it. Um, F5 with Sheamus. Um, Sheamus has his comeback, he won last week. Remember when they first did comebacks in the game? I was doing comebacks all the time. It was hilarious. I did WWE 12. I did comebacks like almost all the time on every superstar. Whoever if it was Randy Orton, John Cena, Sheamus, Undertaker, too. Those guys had like cool comebacks. It was kind of nice. Um, but yeah. This is the main event match. Oh. The matches in, t in WWE kind of long because it was such a long show. Yeah, Shane Owen. Get off of me, little jackass. Ugh. Ugh. I actually like that move. I don't know why they just give him right back to that one instead of the one that he has where he goes in the corner and then hits him on the back, you know. Doesn't really make sense. Um, I hope they, for actually for TK14, I hope they actually put real numbers in there. Like 13, they did, but 13 didn't have as many real numbers as uh, 14 did. So, and better and better sound effects too, like the uh, the ring and everything like that. But um, I hope TK14 has better sets and better uh, types of skill to play. One, oh, that's two. F that's that. That gave him two freaking F fives. Yeah, that's a good reverse. Nice stuff. One, damn it, Sheamus, you little jackass. This has been a long match. Sheamus is a pretty uh, tough competitor in thirteen here. Oh, that was kind of a mean little spin there. See, like that. Oh, never mind. I don't remember this one. Ah. Oh, no. Belly to belly. That's an old famous move. The belly to belly. Because it's like super like a turn angle and Brock Lesnar. And I don't know about Sheamus has used it yet in his, in his career. Maybe he has. I've never seen it. Comment below. Write it. Write, write. Write. If he has, or give me a link to a video of it if he has a YouTube. This has been a long match. Mm. That's what I like about certain superstars. They have certain moves they can do on certain people. It's pretty cool. Oh no, Sheamus. Ah. 
Wow, you little bastard, Seamus. I'm sorry about the thing, too, about the types of uh, the frames. I'm losing a lot of frames per second here, and I don't know what to do, so. <laughs> it's probably just probably kind of like sucks that I just can't do anything. A few times it goes like, I've lost like 2,000 frames. I can't, I don't know what the hell's going on. It's just maybe my way of gameplay or the way it looks. The thing I'm using <coughs> Maybe that thing too, so. <sighs> Apparently there's some big power lines that are just shrinking. That, if they if that actually happened in real life, that'd be pretty cool. I'd, I'd like I'd love to see that. F five to Seamus. F five, look at that, F five, look at this. Oh Did I get him? Probably did. One Boom, boom, boom. Pork laser with Lance the Lanch. Kicked my freaking ass the entire match. Kicked my freaking ass, man. But I got, I got 70% of me back. It's over payback. Thanks for joining today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.